Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I thought I'd carry y'all on those home office studio tours that you see a lot of YouTubers do. So, I thought I'd show you the gear and stuff that I'm using to film all my videos and where I shoot my photos, and I thought it'd be nice to share for everybody. So anyway, let's first get started. Now, the first thing a lot of you uh, com viewers and stuff ask me is what video camera and stuff I'm using to film my videos. So, uh, let me turn the, this camera around and actually show you. Okay. Well, here is the camera I'm using the most. Yeah, an older Canon T3i. Yeah, not, not a latest and greatest. Now, right now I have the 18 to uh, 55 lens on there, but I really don't like this lens too much. I normally use my uh, Sigma 18 to 35 art lens because it's so much sharper. Okay. Now I do have a little battery grip on the bottom of it. That's kind of to help me just have a little extra battery power because it's worse. Nothing worse than actually filming a video and I'll be darned if the battery goes out in the middle of it. So anyway, that's my little camera setup. So now let me show you the lighting here. Now, hopefully the exposure won't get too crazy here. This is uh, my lighting setup. It's a dual CFL lighting setup. A little dual head. I think this is newer. Uh, if this is where I got it from. Now these right here are pretty bright, they're about 65 uh, watts each. So I got one of those lighting setups shooting through an umbrella, kind of really good for soft light, plus that light that does back around uh, bounce off the walls, makes nice still light. And I have two of those, that's normally what I use for my video uh, lighting. And I'm hoping to expand that to something better uh, later on. So. That's my camera setup. Now here are the desk I'm using. This is a little wooden desk that I made with some extra lumber and my little stool that I've uh, had for a while. And I'm hoping to improve this later on, but I like wood texture surfaces because it doesn't get reflective. It's not boring looking. And I've always just enjoyed wood anyway. Okay. So now let's move over here. Now here's a lot of the soft boxes you see in a lot of my videos. I have my photo deox 24 by 36 uh, one there. In the back here, I got a 12 by 52 or 12 by 56. I forget what exactly what it is. Strip soft box. And I have two of those. One there also. And right here, I have one of my main uh, my main beauty dish, 18 inch photo deox beauty dish, and of course a 24 by 36 inch reflector. Now I have this cool little stand set up made up here. Yeah, I actually plan on making a little vlog video on it. Basically what it is, I've got kind of hooked up here. That way I don't have to have a separate stand to hold my reflector. It's kind of just a little clamp there. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. <laughs> That's all that really is. Just kind of clamp it to one of the legs there. That way you don't have to have an extra stand. And of course I got my backdrop here at the back. And I have it uh, on the ceiling here. Actually hung up. Steel pipe. You know, stainless steel. And that's how I've been kind of hanging my backdrops because the ceiling may look taller here in the video, but it's actually only a seven foot ceiling. So when I build my other studio, I'm, I'm going to have a professional setup uh, installed. Well, I'll install it myself. And of course, here I have some of my alcohol at the top. Nothing beats some good Baileys, some Chime uh, Belgian beer, and some rum. Kind of help you get through the day. And a picture of my daughter, some of my older software, a lot of my lens filters, and of course my one of my other cameras I use for alternate angle and stuff. My little Sony uh, P, oh, is it PJ440 here. Love that little camera. And of course tons of batteries and stuff because you never have enough batteries. Of course I got my black rapid straps. I got two of them. Case lodge bags. And of course, over here on the wall, I have my assortment of lenses and stuff that I'm not currently using. Well, I use them daily, but not most of them daily. <laughs> and I want two or three of them get used uh, constantly all the time. And of course, uh, I keep all the boxes because I have this weird paranoid belief if I throw away the box, something will break. So I hold on to everything. Of course, my Canon 70D is still sitting up there, and it's broken, even though the box is sitting over there. So, got to get the Canon 70D fixed for too long, because I want to keep using that. 
And of course, here is my little desk. Let me roll my office chair out and show you everything. There I have my Scarlett 2i2 and my Audio Technica AT uh, 2035 microphone. I'm a little boom pole here. My Creative Lab speakers and my Western Digital hard drives. Uh, two of these here or for current data. The other one, uh, the largest six terabyte I use for a time machine backup. I got my Rode uh, Smart Lab Plus microphone. Wonderful microphone, use it a lot. My iPhone charging my iPod that I actually hook up to that a lot to record with and I can tell from the video I should have dusted before I did this video <laughs> so anyway here's my little DVD burner uh, memory card case eco fused some of SD cards one of them's got magic lantern on it and here's my main computer uh, blue knots nothing fancy just a 2012 Mac mini so you know works wonderful large tech keyboard I like these better because the keys feel better than the Apple keyboards do because these are not flat, they're really slightly concave. And plus, they light up. And no freaking battery to charge because you just plug it up and the battery's built in. Unlike the Apple keyboard, you have to pull the batteries out, charge them up, or switch them out all the time. And my monitor here. Uh, this is the BenQ BL3200PT. It's a 32-inch display. 100% sRGB accurate, which is very, very important. It actually gets like 79% of Adobe RGB color space as well. Now, I ain't got much more over here. Just half empty glass of Coca-Cola, a lot more dust, and my printer. You know, just a little Epson ink uh, printer here. Got those little ink tanks in it, which is what they're used here in, uh, in the Asia and stuff a lot more. And of course, my EB, one of my EBL battery charge actually on two of those. So anyway, uh, let me get the camera back around here. Uh, that's my little home office. I'm currently filming all this on my Canon, uh, not, yeah, my Canon ADD with my Rode video microphone and a stupid uh, Gorilla Pod here. I hate using. Yeah, kind of like a Casey Neistat video setup. Of course, Casey Neistat did not in invent that setup. <laughs> I've used this a long time ago. I just It's just a really horrible, horrible video setup I hate. But I got a video coming out on this uh, next week on a little vlogging setup. In case anybody's interested, because a lot of people do like these uh, Joby Gorilla Paws to hold up their cameras. I don't. So anyway, that's my little small studio. It's actually not that big. Uh, it's about 15 feet by 15 feet US. Only about seven foot tall ceiling. So it's actually fairly small. And it's uh, always been a challenge to really film in here. So I'm hoping when my channel grows big enough that I'm actually going to build another studio on my property out here. Uh, it's going to be quite a big one. Probably about 25 by uh, 50 feet, something like that area. It's going to be a large studio. But, you know, I'm starting to get a lot more, you know, jobs and stuff and taking a lot more photos out here in the Philippines. A lot of models and stuff coming in. So the work is picking up. <laughs> so anyway, this is my little home office that I'm working with right now. So if anybody's thinking, hey, I don't really have a large space to do photography and stuff in, uh, you can. Look what I got. This, this is actually very small. This was actually... Uh, about two years ago, my back porch to my house. And I bricked it in and set it up as this uh, home office. So anyway, that's it, everyone. I thought I'd share this with everybody. I thought everybody might enjoy it. A uh, little something different. <laughs> thought I'd share a little bit of myself with everybody. So anyway, that's it for this video, everyone. And I hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. Let you know I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.